Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to panelize our surface and we're going to use the list item tutorial definition as our base um, definition. So pull that out and if you guys haven't done it just go back to the tutorial and do the definition. And I'm going to delete these sliders because they're getting in the way so I'm just going to go into I and I'm going to set the integer as 0 and commit changes and I'm going to do this for every item except it's going to go from 0 to 3 as the slider would dictate. And once you guys are done, um, delete the lines also. And then we're going to go into surface and go to freeform and grab the four point surface button. And I'm, going to, I'm going to need two of these so I'm going to copy and paste. And then A is going to the first item, B is going to go to the second item, and then C is going to go to the third item. And they'll create one side of the panels. And then the other side is going to go, C is going to go to the last panel, E is going to go to the B, I mean um, the third panel will go into B, and then A will go into the first panel. And that will give you the, the panels. If you guys want the spiral to turn the other way, just realign the wires to get the other spiral. But I'm just going to do this alignment. And next we want to create the, the structure of our panels. So we're going to go to curve and grab the polyline tool. I'm going to connect this to the vertices and then change C from set boolean from false to true and then I also need lines for the spiral so I'm going to go from primitive and grab the line tool and I'm going to put this into the first item and the third item and this will give me the, the, the lines and then I'm going to go to parameters and grab a receiver and then connect these into the receiver and then I'm going to grab a curve from parameters and connect it in. And so this will be my main structure. I'm going to unpreview this. And then I'm going to create another receiver and go to surface, go to freeform, and go to pipe. And this will go into C. And then I need to grab a slider in parameters and change the, and edit this to 12. Also integers change the value to 1 and then I'm going to convert this into inches and this will go into the the radius I'm also going to grab another receiver and go to B reps and this will connect into the B reps I'm going to rename this as piped structure and the curves as structure. And then I'm going to put this receiver into the pipe command. And then I'm going to pull this, 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 and these to the beginning of the, I mean, to the left side of our, our definition. So now when you, when you guys pipe the, the structure, all you guys have to do is bring the structure into the receiver since the I'm also going to rename this receiver, receiver to pipe so I know what the receiver is going to but the only reason why we did all this is because the piping slows down the computer incredibly so in this case when we're ready to pipe or bake into Rhino all I have to do is can reconnect this and I'll have my structure so it's not always piping every time I change something and this will give us a faster workflow and also the, using the four point surface we can create panels and if, and if you guys want you guys can realign this to get the other spiral and that's how you create a panelized surface and thanks for watching